It wouldn't be Christmas without a musical! Into the woods! <laughs> now that's the last time I'll do that. So Into the Woods is a new musical movie that is based off of the Broadway play of the same name. And just like the Broadway play, it follows a bunch of different fairy tale characters like Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, Rapunzel. But mainly it follows the story of a baker who is played by some British guy I cannot remember. And his wife played by Emily Blunt who are childless. They really want a child. And they're not really in the best situation right now. Until one day a witch played by Meryl Streep comes in to tell them, all right, you want a child? I'll give you a shot, but you have to go on a quest and find these objects for me. And if you can find that, you have a child. If not, sorry guys. I don't know why I'm a huge fairy tale person. I love watching fairy tales and full and from. And this wasn't a bad adaptation. It was actually quite a lot of fun. I really liked the acting in this movie for the most part. Emily Blunt was great as the baker's wife. Whoever the British guy was who played Emily Blunt's husband was great. He was one of my favorite parts of the entire movie. Gave me a lot of laughs. Surprisingly, as much as you know how much I think this actress is overrated, Meryl Streep was awesome in this movie. She was the best part of the movie. Not only did she have the best singing voice, but not to mention she was just awesome. I also liked the girl who played Red Riding Hood. I also, surprisingly, I really dug Johnny Depp. When does that ever happen? My only gripe with him was that he was in the movie long enough. He was just axed off within five minutes. I loved how the world looked and everything. I'm always interested in seeing how directors turn, you know, fairy tale adaptations to the big screen. The first hour and 15 minutes to 30 minutes were amazing. It was what I wanted from a musical. It was just fun, lighthearted, had great songs. While they're not catchy, this movie could have had a really short and sweet movie with a great ending with a happy ever after ending, but for my for it's supposed to be a dark ending, it just felt totally out of place. Here's another grab of this movie, okay? A bunch of characters thrown in, like Rapunzel, she was barely in the movie. Rapunzel pretty much had no purpose in the movie. And also, Anna Kendrick, I like her, she's a great actress, I loved her in Up in the Air, I loved her in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, haven't seen Pitch Perfect. I felt she was totally miscast as Cinderella. And isn't Cinderella supposed to be blonde? And also, Chris Pine. Wow, Chris Pine was atrocious. I thought he was the worst part of this entire movie. When it came to like the last 45 minutes to the last hour, I know it's part of the Broadway play, but the way how it was done executed, it just felt totally out of place. And also, I felt this movie stretched on for way too long, especially in the second half of the film. I was just waiting for things to happen. It felt like there was nothing going on in that, in that second half of the film. So overall, even though Into the Woods feels like it has some parts that are totally tacked on, it is really a fun musical that I recommend you guys go see on Christmas Day if you're a fan of musicals. If not, I'd say stay away from this one. But other than that, it's a fun musical. I'd say check it out, guys. Have a fun time with it. So I'm going to give Into the Woods a 3 out of 5 stars. It's a very fun movie. Alright, so comment and let me know below, guys. What is your favorite musical? I don't know if I've asked you that, but if I have, what's your second favorite musical? And I will see you guys next time.